Hello, my name is Nicole, and thank you so much for taking the time out to listen. Today, I am talking about the secrets, the secrets, more specifically, secrets that are exposed, not by men, not by women, but by God. God exposing secrets using men, women, signs, visions, dreams, Meanwhile, people will say, how did you get your information? I know you got it from someone. Meanwhile, they just don't know. Some of us are closer to God than they think. You may be sleeping one night, and then you have a dream. And that dream reveals who is friend and who is foe. You awake, and you are quite disturbed at the things that you saw in that dream. Others have repressed memories that show up when triggered. And so those secrets are exposed. Years of keeping quiet, keeping the lid on some things. There are those individuals who are in families right now and they are helping They are helping with keeping secrets quiet, keeping secrets undercover. There are adults who are bullied, who are threatened, who are abused. Oh, so you want to talk now? Oh, you think because you're grown? Oh, you can say whatever you want to say. And so that one who wants secrets to stay just where they are, not discussed, is going to put someone or some group or even do some things to keep someone's mouth shut. When I was creating family history books, I put together soon after a book called Genealogy X, What to Expect When Researching Family History. And what I wanted to do with this book was help some folks uncover some of those secrets, lies, and cover-ups, which there is a chapter Chapter 9, that talks about those things. The Lord showed me that there are some topics that families don't want to discuss. There are some topics that certain patriarchs and matriarchs are going to do any and everything to keep some things under wraps. Some of those secrets I'm going to share And I'm going to share so that some folks will start paying attention to the signs that someone is covering up some things. And when someone is covering up or a group is covering up some things, they don't want you to be free, which goes back to what NM Enterprise 7 is all about. Getting some people up out of some toxic situations, some toxic relationships. But secrets, lies, and cover-ups keep people oppressed. They don't set them free. Secret lies and cover-ups keep captives in captivity. Secret lies and cover-ups keep the blind blind. You don't need to know this. You don't need to know that. No, we're not spending money to help you with this. No, you made me angry because you put my name in your mouth when I wanted you to be quiet. You are a troublemaker. You are a worker of the devil. Do you realize that the truths that you revealed caused a vision? Meanwhile, God is saying, I am the one who orchestrated the plan. I am the one that moved upon men and women to toss and turn night after night until they finally got on the phone and started talking to some people and confronting them on some things. I am the one that moved upon my child to talk about the issues that you didn't want to talk about, that you wanted to gossip about, that you wanted to lie about, that you wanted to keep your daughter, sons, and other people quiet about. I am, the Lord says. I don't understand why everybody want to start telling all this stuff that happened 10, 15, 20 years ago. They need to let it rest. Every time we got a family celebration or get together, somebody wants to show up and start talking about some stuff. You see, I don't even want to have these events anymore because people always want to start talking about what I said, what I did, who I was involved with, how they got hurt and abused and everything else. Look, you're alive. You're alive, aren't you? What you so concerned about? 
And God says, that's the one that I want to humble before they close their eyes. You see, family secrets, lies, and cover-ups, they humble some prideful, self-righteous, egotistical, greedy, conniving, hustler, pimp mentality, player type of folks in the family. Oh, you thought that you were going to get away with what you were doing all those years? You thought that you would never be held accountable for all of the apologies that you should have gave but didn't? You thought that God was just going to look the other way? God raises up children. And when children are too fearful of folks, that's all right, because then there's grandchildren. And if grandchildren are brainwashed, don't worry about it, because there's great grand. Oh, mama, daddy, and whoever else secret is going to come out. So ain't no sense in sitting up there playing denial and delusional and I don't know and I don't recall. I know that we don't like our business out in the street. I know that it is not something that we should be discussing if it's going to cause problems. But if God say we don't have no choice but to sit there and listen to the convicting messages and get our acts together. And for some people, that's all it's been for years was an act. They were just actors and actresses. And then when children discover that mama wasn't so perfect and so righteous and so wonderful as she described herself to be, some folks, they can't take it. Daddy wasn't so good. Oh, no, not daddy. Some of those secrets, let's talk about them. Adultery. That's a number one. Some folks back in the day, they didn't know nothing about emotional cheating, but they were cheating. And the Lord says, cheating is cheating. I never cheated on my wife. Oh, oh, you didn't. No, I didn't. I never was in a bed with a woman. No, you wasn't in a bed. You just had a lot of fantasies, a lot of thoughts. You were often thinking about what it would be like to be with someone else. So you were still cheating, brother, sister. Did you ever confess sin? You got to get this thing right before you close your eyes, some folks. They got to get this right and quit going around here talking about in 20, 30, 40 plus years of marriage. I never cheated. The, lie, the Lord says that you are nothing more than a liar. And there is no place in the kingdom for liars. Some folks need to go back to their Bibles and start reading. I thought I was going to heaven. No, you're not going to heaven when you are a liar, when you are a drunkard, when you're sexual and moral. They don't inherit the kingdom of God and people need to stop telling these lies saying that folks is all right and they're good and there's a place for them. The devil says, no, I got a place in my hood for you. And he loves deceiving folks who think that they're all right with God. What's another secret? Sexual abuse. And some folks, they are just so determined to keep this secret under wraps and folks is still the abusers are still showing up at the family events. They're still walking around being that favorite uncle or favorite aunt or what have you. When this person got a long history of abusing children, inappropriate touch, putting children up to doing things between each other, saying all sorts of demonic things to children. Even if they didn't participate in the act. Showing magazines talking about this is man talk. Or this is, you know, something to help you. Or I just play with the kids. What kind of playing are we talking about? And he still has seemed old favorite uncle. Oh, she's still the best and the greatest aunt. Please. God, he don't see it that way. That's why a lot of them end up getting sick. Their minds were sick, and now their bodies are sick. Better watch who you call in favor. She was so good with the children. Oh, he was always so funny, and he always made us laugh. And then the secret comes out. Yeah, he was making some other children cry while he was making you laugh. What's another secret? Domestic violence, this is a big one, especially when somebody's been in a relationship for 20, 30, 40 plus years. Oh, you thought we wouldn't find out that the man hit you? 
You thought we wouldn't ever find out that the woman was battering her own husband? Oh, some folks, they start telling those secrets because it was just too much lying and exaggerating and covering up and people was blowing their relationships up. And so folks got sick of it and they started spilling the beans. Let me tell you about your mama. Let me tell you about your daddy. Let me tell you about some of them other folks in that family of yours. Them women was weak. Don't even think for one minute they were strong. They was all mouth, but at the end of the day, they was crying and begging and pleading and don't hit me. What about those other secrets, miscarriages? Oh, no. Oh, no. You didn't know? I didn't know what. You had a brother or you had a sister. Well, where are they? They never made it. Well, should I know this? Well... You might want to know it since you miscarried, your sister miscarried, and some other folks in your family miscarried. It's family history that there's at least two or three miscarriages. Oh, come on. Somebody got to put the pieces of the puzzle together. And if you know what's going on with family history, maybe you can prevent some things from happening by, ter by taking certain uh, vitamins or by removing certain things out of your diet. By going to the doctors and telling them about all of this stuff that has taken place in the family. But as long as people are keeping secrets, how are we going to get some healing? God is telling you something about all of those health ailments, when you start putting those pieces of the puzzle together, you can be able to walk in the way that God called you to walk. You could be the first generation that's healed from all sorts of stuff. It doesn't have to be miscarriages. It could be anything. But somebody wanted to, everybody to keep it a secret. What about abortions? Ooh, there's a lot of folks. Blessed. Got a lot of material wealth. Favored. Got a lot of connections, but did the family even suspect that there was a long history of abortions? And you know, that does equate to child sacrifice. And some people, they don't even associate that. They just say, well, things just happen. Things happen. Yes, they do. Health related issues. But some folks who deliberately take children out of here. And then they turn around and Satan has his own little favor that he gives them. Now you get to be that success that you always wanted to be. Thank you, says Satan, for the blood sacrifice. Some folks, they say, oh, that is just deep. I never looked at it like that. And that is why a lot of folks end up feeling convicted during a deliverance process through a ministry on their abortion so that they can get free from all of what comes when one makes a blood sacrifice. Witches and warlocks, they're well, well versed in this sort of th sort of stuff. Matter of fact, they even encourage it. They will even use the feces to participate in all sorts of rituals. And there are long lines of family who have done all sorts of things and didn't even know they were participating in something rooted in witchcraft. How about another secret, arrest records? Now, nowadays, folks can pull people's information and find out, but yet people will still lie about the events. They'll still say, well, I wasn't arrested for that, but I was arrested for this. Keeping the lie going. Meanwhile, there's a connection. There's a connection to some head injuries. There's a connection to some personality disorders. There's a connection to some other undiagnosed medical conditions. And so that daddy and his son and the grandson all do, did the same thing. But we mustn't say anything because he's a Christian now. But the stuff is still going on in the family line. Let's get down to the root issues. Covering up is not going to rehabilitate anyone. Playing dumb to why folks keep showing up in the... The jail is not going to help. What is going on in that family that so many of the males ended up in jail or six feet deep? 
What is going on? The family has a mental illness. That's what's going on. And somebody doesn't want folks to know. Or the family is addicted on some type of substance from cigarettes to drugs. And it messes with your mind over time as well as other areas of your body. But people don't connect the dots. They don't connect the dots that the family has a history of having all sorts of anxiety and uh, nervousness. The family has a lot of bipolar types of individuals. And that sort of thing affects sons, daughters, grandsons, granddaughters. Sometimes it skips generations and then shows back up again. And all somebody needed was a prescription drug or all someone needed was to do certain things during pregnancy that could help out the mind, the body, as well as the spirit. Thieves are often covered up in family members and people will pretend or in families and people will pretend as if no, uh uh. No, I don't know. My daughter's not a thief. No, my husband's not a thief. I don't know what you're talking about. Things just disappear, right? Five finger discounts just show up, right? <laughs> it's not us. Mm-hmm. But meanwhile, you know that a lot of their wealth that they've accumulated was as a result of stolen goods because you start seeing people's names on stuff and you start finding out that people did not have legitimate jobs. Well, it's embarrassing. It's shameful. That's why all of these secrets exist. I mean, nobody wants to be associated with these sorts of things. Of course not. But when God exposes things, that's when somebody has to do something about whatever it is that's taking place. And covering up is not the answer. And when people continue to be in denial and delusional, you know what God does? He keeps exposing them. When is this child going to stop telling family business until you start confessing sin and repenting? When are they going to stop talking about all of this family secret stuff? When folks start admitting that these things exist in a family and stop acting so prideful and self-righteous. That's when, because God uses these situations, uses exposing to humble some prideful folks who think that mama and daddy is just so wonderful and perfect and great and wonderful and nice, right? <laughs> How many times did I say wonderful? <laughs> Name changes. I don't want you to know the truth. I used to be so and so. Well, we we needed to know that because now all of your enemies is after us. How are we going to protect ourselves when you don't tell us where these people are or what they look like? See how sometimes these secrets can spiral out of control. Now folks got to watch their back because somebody who was known as some nickname on the street. <laughs> did a lot of dirt and now some folks is coming after some people don't want to tell the truth about a birth location why because it says a whole lot of stuff that took place in a neighborhood back in the day people don't want to talk about things like how they were impoverished and that the family never had anything. And well, I never wanted to tell you because I didn't want folks to know just how bad off we were. But that could help so that this future generation would stop spending money like they do or stop gambling or, you know, I mean, there's so many things that we could use as a result of the mistakes that your family members made. People hiding the fact that they were married before. Other folks hiding the fact that they were divorced. And then, of course, we can go on and on about drug and alcohol abuse in a the family. They don't want to admit that so-and-so was strung out on drugs years ago. And when they finally recover, well, their brain didn't recover all together. It didn't, it didn't heal. And so that's why they do weird things, strange things. People who don't want to admit that they didn't finish high school or finish college. And then, of course, there are those nude images, nude videos that people hope never show up. But hey, when the stuff shows up, you just it just face the facts 
And then you got some people nowadays with Photoshop and everything else. They come up with all sorts of foolishness because they want to break people down. And accidents that people have had doing all sorts of things. They don't want to admit to that because our family is perfect and our family is good. And we never, you know, did anything wrong. And so, you know, and if we admit to accidents, well, we don't want the children to do the same thing or gang affiliations. They don't want to say anything about that either because it's embarrassing. It's shameful, right? But when God exposes some folks on their weaknesses, on their failures, you know, that is an opportunity for people to teach folks rather than deny things. And it's never too late to admit that, hey, mama lied. Daddy lied. And here's what the real truth is. And they never wanted me to tell you this. And they never wanted you wanted you to expose this. And, you know, it's never too late if you're the one that's aiding in all of the lies to just come clean. Well, I'm no snitch. Oh, please. There's so many people that have died as a result of people wanting to save their own rep. Please tell the truth, because if you don't. Your secrets will show up sooner or later because God is not going to keep hiding people's personal business. Sometimes he moves us to speak personal business. Because he wants his truth to come forth and part of walking this walk is to come clean. I can't stress that enough. You cannot be set free as an oppressed individual if you don't want to admit that certain things took place. Well, it might cause this. Let God be concerned about what it might cause. If he's putting you up to doing it, you keep having a dreams. You keep having the signs. People keep telling you you need to say certain things to free some other folks. You can't sleep at night behind secrets. And oh, so that's a peaceful life. That's great. That's wonderful. Huh? Come on. It is. There's nothing. There's nothing that is freeing in keeping secrets. Unless, of course, you're trying to save yourself from going to jail. <laughs> and there were those in the Bible who ended up escaping. Because they didn't want to have to be in prison or they didn't want to be hurt by the victim's family. And God, he works in that way, too. But you cannot be released from captivity if you don't want to face truth and you start by facing it behind closed doors, cry it out, get upset about it. And then you start talking about what took place to those who they need that release. They need that peace. Some of them, that's why they continue to drink because they know that something's wrong. These people are still lying. I don't know. I, I just, I just know something's wrong. That's why some folks continue to run the street and do what they do. Because somebody told them something and they made it look like it was okay and all right to do A, B, and C. And then, of course, the blind, the blind cannot get to a place where they see the light unless somebody start telling them what's going on. What's the real? Stop wearing the rose colored glasses. This is what is going on. Bow your head at this moment and please pray. Dear Lord, thank you once again for an inspiring message, a motivating one for those individuals who got to come clean with secrets, lies, cover-ups, and so forth. I pray that they will stop being delusional, stop exaggerating, stop covering up, and stop being worried or fearful to speak truth. I pray in Jesus' name that those who have been aiding in the lies, the deception, and all of this other stuff, that they will get right with the Lord before they close their eyes. I pray in Jesus' name that generations will see the light and generations will do what it is that you have called them to do without fear. I pray these things in Jesus' mighty name. Well, if you haven't gotten the book, please do get Genealogy X, What's Expected When Researching Family History. There's a lot to it. And I don't want you to be blindsided as you are uncovering some things about certain family members, especially after death. And also check the descri description box for anything else that might be of interest. You've been listening to YouTube NM Enterprise 7. Subscribe today. And also, if you haven't given, we do welcome donations. So please do give. Blessings to you.